All right, if you're ready to learn Dead or Alive, I want you to go straight to Hitomi and click on her. Straight up. Hitomi is the best character to learn Dead or Alive with. Hitomi is very well run and she excels at space control, movement, and close range mix up. I want you to use her PP in close, her 6P strings, her knee strings, and her down jab. If your opponent somehow blocks everything that you're doing, then grab them with your forward throw. After a forward throw, either do forward guard plus kick or down guard plus kick. Or just do it again. Fight with Hitomi around mid range. Poke with her down forward plus kick, her forward guard plus kick, her down guard plus kick, her back punch punch, or her P plus KP. Oh yeah, down back plus kick is good also if you need a low poke. Since you're mostly going to be fighting at range with Hitomi, whiff punish stuff with your quarter circle forward death fist, your back forward punch death fist, your quarter circle forward kick, and your back P plus K super death fist. Other than Hitomi, another good starter character is Jan Lee. Jan Lee specializes at keep out. That means that he's really good at keeping his opponent away from him. What I want you to do with Jan Lee is hit the opponent with this move. This is forward forward kick. It knocks the opponent back very far. What I want you to do is keep hitting the opponent with this until they start to defend against it. Once the opponent starts defending against forward forward kick, then they open themselves up for a quarter circle forward kick, the dragon kick. This move is unblockable and very dangerous. Oh, and have I mentioned that forward forward kick is safe on block? You're only left at minus three. That includes forward punch kick too. Your forward punch good is a good alternative in close range because it comes off of your 11 frame forward punch. Once you've got your opponent afraid to approach you, then feel free to poke them with moves such as forward plus kick, down forward plus kick, or forward punch plus kick. Once you know your opponent's definitely afraid to approach you, then trip them up with your forward forward throw, your offensive hold, the dragon gun. The dragon gunner leaves you at a lot of advantage, plus 25. That's enough for guaranteed follow-ups. Unfortunately, Jan Lee's lows kind of suck, so you have to make do with down back plus kick. If you're coming from 2D fighters, then click on Nico. Nico is a very straightforward, well-rounded character. Great jab, great elbow, and great down jab. What you want to do with Nico is poke with the third hit of her jab or elbow strings to try and get yourself a good stun. If the opponent blocks well, then just use the first two hits or delay your strings. Both the punch strings and elbow strings are safe. If your opponent blocks you a lot, then just shake them up with the quarter circle forward combo throw. Press throw a second time, then you get a free, simple forward punch, 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 punch combo. If you need lows with Nico besides her, well, her down jab, then you have her down back, guard plus kick, or her down guard plus kick. Be careful, they are a little slow. At range, threaten the opponent with quarter circle punch, hold. That move goes really far and is also a really good guard break, but it is also very linear. And if you do happen to stun your opponent, then feel free to use your down forward P plus K to threaten them on block. Don't worry, you're fully safe, but look what happens when it hits. If you want to play a ninja and you have some money lying around, then I recommend Momiji. Momiji is an excellent poking, keep out, and footsie based character. What I want you to do with Momiji is poke with forward forward punch and keep the opponent away with guard plus kick. If you whip punch anything with forward forward punch, then follow up with forward forward punch punch for a nice little juggle. If you go along with forward forward punch and guard plus kick, you also have down guard plus kick for a good Low poke with great range. In close range, fish for a good stun with forward punch kick. It is delayable and gives you a really good lift stun. Even launches if you do it on a stunned opponent. Might as well add that Momiji's jab, elbow, and down jabs are really good, so you can kind of annoy the hell out of the opponent with free cancel. Oh, and if you need Losu with Momiji to go along with down guard plus kick, back punch is really good. If you're one of those special people that plays grapplers, then just pick Tina. Your objective with Tina is to hit this throw. While standing forward back throw. This is the welcome to DOA throw. What you do first is try and fish for a stun with full crouch. 3P, really good, 12 frame move, good lift stun. If the opponent does hold, then do uh, crouch dash. 
then forward back throw, then you get that huge 132 damage. While we're talking about throws, Tina's forward forward throw offense hold is really good if the opponent has their back to the corner. You can get a free down throw. Which is always fun. Tina's jump in offensive holds like up throw is also really good. The Frankenstein. What I wanted you to do with Tina is fight around the edge of mid to close range, so it's preferably just out of most opponents' jab ranges because most opponents are faster than you, and poke him with back kick. This move is a really good jump in move, it's really fast, sets up like up back kick, uh, back punch punch can give you a free ground throw, so that's also really good. And this move also gives you your good jump in offensive hold. It's a great poke. If you want to poke with punches, then back punch punch. Forward Punch Punch are also really good, and if you ever need to relieve pressure from faster characters, your panic button is Down Back Punch. Also, please make the opponent respect the Shining Wizard. Other than the characters I mentioned, some other good characters to start out with can include Kasumi, Amila, Diego, even though I don't really like his neutral, Hayate, Kokoro's good, and if you like grapplers, um, Rachel and Bass are also like fairly straightforward. However, what I don't want you to do is starting out with characters such as like Phase 4, Raido, Elliot, Brad Wong, Hayabusa, Honoka, Ayane, or like Helena. I mean like good luck figuring out her neutral game. Just giving you a heads up that the content in this guide will apply for both Dead or Life 6 and Dead or Life 5 last round. The main thing when you're looking at a starter character is a character that you can competently learn the game with. Like it's not necessarily a character that's super easy. But it's a character that's a bit more straightforward and fundamentally sound. Though of course, this can lead to a bit of a conundrum. Like, what if you don't like any of the recommended starter characters? Like for instance, in Street Fighter, there's Ryu. In Dead or Alive, I'd say it's Hitomi. Like, even though you might not like Hitomi, what you can do is just learn the fundamentals with her. And once you basically just feel comfortable with like how the game operates, then you can end up moving on to a character that you like. Or if you happen to like Hitomi, just stick with her because she's kind of awesome. Likewise, let's say you really like a character like Helena or Phase 4 or like Bayman or like Brad Wong, for instance. I mean, if you if you do have a lot of experience with fighting games in general, especially 3D fighters, then like, go ahead, feel free to use them. But I'll just let you know, though, you might encounter a lot more frustration trying to learn the game with like someone like Bayman or like Brad Wong. I mean, Helena, you can't kind of BS your way through some matches, but geez, the thing is that like learning the fundamentals with someone like Helena is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Anyways, if you like this video, leave a like. If you don't like this video, just leave a like anyway, and don't forget to subscribe for more juicy fighting game content. I also want to give a shout out to long-term supporters of this channel, X2009 and Samurai Hashi, along with relative newcomer Sharps Research. Anyways, it's Force Nature signing off, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on Top Tier Tips.